Here we will see dictionary methods in Python. First is clear, which removes all the elements from a dictionary. General syntax is dictionary dot clear. For example, if dictionary dict is defined with these elements, and if we give the command dict dot clear, and again when we print the dict, it will give the empty dictionary output. Next is copy. This method returns a copy of the specified dictionary. General syntax is dictionary dot copy. For example, if dictionary dict is defined with these elements, and if we give the command x equal to dict dot copy, and when we print x, it will give the same output as the dictionary, since the elements from the dictionary are copied into x. Next is from keys. This method returns a dictionary with the specified keys and the specified value. General syntax is dict dot from keys with parameters keys and values, where keys are required parameter, which is an iterable specifying the keys of the new dictionary, and value is an optional parameter, which is the value for all keys. Default value is none. For example, if we have defined the dictionary with name dict one and with these elements, and if we give the command x equal to dict dot from keys for dict one. And when we print x, it will give the output with keys from the dict one, and the value will be none. And if we give the command as dict dot from keys with dict one comma eighty seven, and when we print x, it will display keys from the dict one and value as eighty seven. Next is get. This method returns the value of the item with the specified key. General syntax is. Dictionary dot get with parameters key name and value, where key name is a required parameter which specifies the key name of the item that you want to return, and value is an optional parameter which specifies the value to return if the specified key does not exist. Default value is none. For example, if we define the dictionary dict one with these elements, and if we give the command x equal to dict one dot get ghi. And when we print x, it will display the output none, since ghi key name is not available in this dict one. And if we give the command x equal to dict one dot get with key name ghi and value fifteen thousand, and when we print x, it will display fifteen thousand, since ghi key name is not available in dict one. So it will display the value which specified with the get method. Next is items. Which returns a view object. The view object contains the key value pairs of the dictionary as tuples in a list. General syntax is dictionary dot items. For example, if we have specified the dictionary dict one with these elements, and when we print dict one dot items, it will display the dictionary items. Next is keys, which returns a view object. The view object contains the keys of the dictionary as a list. General syntax is dictionary dot keys. For example, if dictionary dict one is defined with these keys and values, and when we give the command print dict one dot keys, it will display all the keys from the dictionary. Next is pop. This method removes the specified item from the dictionary. The value of the removed item is the return value of the pop method. General syntax is dictionary dot pop. With parameters key name and default value, where key name is the required parameter which specifies the key name of the item that you want to remove, and default value is an optional parameter which specifies a value to return if the specified key do not exist. If this parameter is not specified, then no item with the specified key is found. It will raise an error. For example, if dictionary dict one is defined with these keys and values. And if we give the command dict one dot pop df, it will display the output. And when we print again the dict one, it will display the keys and values as a b c and x y z since df is removed from this dictionary. Next is pop item. This method removes the item that was last inserted into the dictionary. The removed item is the return value of the pop item method. General syntax is dictionary dot pop item. For example. If dictionary dict one is defined with these elements, 
and if we give the command dict one dot pop item, it will give the output def ninety nine. Since def is the last inserted item in the dictionary, and when we again print the dictionary, it will give the output with a b c and x y z. Def is removed from this dictionary. Next is set default. This method returns the value of the item with the specified key. If the key does not exist, insert the key with the specified value. General syntax is dictionary dot set default with key name and value as a parameter. Where key name is a required parameter, we specify the key name of the item that you want to return the value from, and value is optional parameter. If the key exists, this parameter has no effect. If the key does not exist, this value becomes a keys value. Default value is none. For example, if dictionary dict one is defined with these elements, and if we give the command dict one dot set default with def and ninety nine, it will give the output ninety nine. And if we print again dict one, it will display keys and values from the dict one. And if we give the command dict one dot set default with gh and seventy six. The output will be seventy six, and when we print dict one, it will display the dictionary with j h and seventy six is inserted into the dictionary. Next is update. This method inserts the specified items through the dictionary. The specified item can be dictionary or an iterable object with the key value pairs. General syntax is dictionary dot update with iterable. Where iterable is a dictionary or an iterable object with key value pairs that will be inserted into the dictionary. For example, if dictionary dict one is defined with these elements, and if we give the command dict one dot update with set g h and seventy six, and when we print dictionary, it will display the output where g h and seventy six is inserted as a key value pair in the dictionary. Next is values. Which returns a view object. The view object contains the values of the dictionary as a list. The view object will reflect any changes done to the dictionary. General syntax is dictionary dot values. For example, if dictionary dict one is defined with these keys and values, and if we give the method dict one dot values, it will display the values from the dictionary.